Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos. Today we're gonna to take a look at 10 Final Cut Pro X keyboard shortcuts. These are my top 10, the ones I use the most often. Uh, so if you wanna become a faster editor and just burn through your projects, these are the ones you wanna know about. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you those. Here we are in Final Cut Pro X. Now I'm gonna run through this pretty fast because there's a lot to cover. The first keyboard shortcut I use a lot to uh, is to add titles and to make it faster i hit Control t instead of having to come up here and looking for the title i want i just hit Control t now it adds this basic title you can also make default other titles you find online or other fonts whatever you you want by selecting that title right click se select uh make default title now when i come down here let's say this is my playhead and i hit Control t it adds that new default title. So whatever you use often, make that your default title. It's gonna save you a lot of time, especially if you're like me and you add a lot of titles. Which me leads me to my second short keyboard shortcut. Uh, let's say I take this basic title and I make some changes to it. I make the font bigger. I change the, uh, I don't know, to something different like impact. Uh, what if I wanna make a duplicate? Because I often do that. So I hold down the option and I drag over and it made an exact duplicate. And you can see I did that over here because I did a buildup of titles. You see that? You see that I just did a buildup. So I selected this one, hold on option and I dragged it and I changed the, uh, just the font and I moved it around to line them up. So that, that's something that I do. You can also do it with video clips. Let's say there's this clip right here. I want to duplicate. I hold on option, drag it up and I move it to another part of my video. Uh, it's just an option to, you know, also with photos, you can do it with pretty much any asset. So let me delete this. All right. So next one on my list is the command plus and command minus. That's to zoom in command plus command minus to zoom out. Sometimes I want to see my whole timeline. So I zoom out. Sometimes I want to make cuts and let's say I was, uh, well, let's move over here. Let's say I want to make a cut right there. I want to get really in there, right? I want to zoom in to make a precise cut. So I would zoom in and which leads me to my next keyboard shortcut, which is command B. So if I have my playhead here, I want to make a cut right there. I hit command B and I just did a cut right there. Uh, that's often useful because sometimes I want to add a, I don't know, an effect just uh, on a portion of my clip, not the whole thing. Like, let's say, let me zoom out again. Here's a whole video clip. I just want to do a quick, uh, I don't know, uh, Gaussian blur on this portion of the clip. I can hit Command B and let's say I add a Gaussian blur. Where is that? Um, blur. Drop it in there and you see only this portion of the clip is affected. Now I can take this basic title, drag it over here and drag it over. So it's just... Oh, now my base, my title stands out because only this portion of the clip is where the Gaussian blur happens. So it helps my title stand out. So that's why I would use the command B. Uh, but also I use it when I'm scrubbing through my footage. Let's say I'm getting rid of dead space like here, you know, let's say I'm right here. Instead of using my mouse, I can just, this is my next uh, sh keyboard shortcut is holding down the shift and right arrow key. And I fast forward to the right. And I can also back up by holding the shift left arrow key and I back up. So moving 10 frames at a time, it's much faster. Instead of having to use my mouse, uh, I try to keep my hands on the keyboard. So I do that. All right. So let's say the next thing I want to do is not only do I want to cut, but I, I want to bring uh, do cuts with just my keyboard. What I do is I use option left bracket key and right bracket key. So those are a combination. So let's say I want to bring the timeline to the left. I hold down, hold down option, right bracket key, and it brought everything to the left, right? Uh, conversely, let's say I move, um, let's say I want to make a cut right here. I want to cut this portion of the clip or how about, let's do something else. Uh, maybe I want to make a cut right here, right? I want to bring the video clip to the right. I hold down option, left bracket key, it brings everything to the right. So those are two to remember whenever you're doing scrubbing and cutting your footage, you wanna do that. Next up is the command and paste of attributes and effects. And I'm gonna show you something. Let me zoom out. 
Well, actually, I moved to my other video, uh, another project. I'm um, back here. Okay. So let me zoom out. Now, all, what you don't know is that only I only color graded this video clip. Everything over here is not color graded. All these other video clips are not color graded. Also, I added audio effects to this video clip. Just this one right here. You see, I added channel EQ, compressor, and adaptive limiter. Now, I want to paste all these attributes to all the other video clips because um, that's that's what I need to do, right? Uh, so what I do is I, I select this clip, which has a color grade and the audio effects. Hit Command C. Now I select all these other video clips, right? All of them. Let me zoom in there so you can see I selected all of them and hit Command Shift V. Now this window comes up and it asks me, what do I want? What attributes do I want to paste uh, from, from the original source? And I can select, I just want the, you know, all the color effects. Maybe I don't want the audio. In this case, I do. Sometimes um, I might have done some cropping or transforming of the video footage. I can unselect that if I don't want that to be part of the, the pasting of the attributes. Uh, so you see, I can unselect the audio effects, but I want everything. So I paste them. Now, if we take a look at these other video clips, now everything has been color graded and I was using different lights. That's why you, that's why you see a different color grade. But uh, now everything has been uh, applied. The audio effects are there. And uh, so, yeah, uh, ideally, I would use an adjustment layer and I have a video on how to create an adjustment layer. So check it out somewhere right here. Next up on my list is creating markers. As you can see here, I put a marker right here and that's because I need to add something. I leave markers when I need to add a photo, add an audio effect or a reminder to come back to this portion of the piece. This is something I have to revisit. And the way to add a marker is you just hit the M key. That's it. And you can select it and you can say add photo if that's what you need right select done so next time i come back i can say what do i need to do here oh i need to add a photo you can also change the color here to orange and color code it if you need to uh, i also do this when i need to stop editing because i'm i have to go somewhere and i want to know where i left off i drop uh, an orange marker so those are pretty useful all right moving on to the next one is the retiming feature Let's say right here, this part of the clip, I need to speed it up for whatever reason right here. What I do is um, I hit shift B and you see this window comes up. I can say, hey, go two times faster, four times faster, or I can just drag it from right here and make it that much faster and it speeds it up. Uh, let's say somewhere around here, I want to go back to normal. Again, shift B and i can say this part of the clip go back to normal so it speeds up right here and then it goes back to normal uh something you might you might use with b-roll or i don't know you can use it for so many things last on my list is actually a combination of keyboard shortcuts again i'm kind of cheating on this one because this is a bunch of them uh but it, but then again i use them together whenever i am editing so the keyboard shortcuts are Control command one and you're gonna see what happens it's gonna close the window to the left, which is the media library, the titles and generators, and all that stuff. Sometimes I just wanna get rid of all these windows so I can just look at my timeline in my video. So I hit Control Command 1 to close that. Command 4 is to close the inspector, which is to the right. And then down below, Command 5 to close down the effects browser or in the, in the transitions. You see that? Now I can just focus on my timeline and the video, and that's it. That's all I wanna see. When I open these things up, like the inspector, I'm sorry, the, the effects and the inspector, and I also open up the scopes, which is command seven, is when I'm doing color grading. That's when I come in here and select the, the color wheels. I drop it into my timeline right here. And then uh, as I'm doing my, my color tweaks, I look at my scopes. Or if I'm doing transitions, I can come in here and uh, look at the inspector and do tweaks to it. Otherwise, if I'm just doing scrubbing and editing, I close all these windows down. I don't wanna have them open. It, I wanna take advantage of all my screen. So that's it, pretty pretty much it. That's all my, I would say top 10. 
and not exactly 10 of them but there's more than that uh but you know what i'm talking about hopefully this helps you out with your editing and if you have any questions or you want to add anything to my list please go ahead and do so down in the comment section guys this does it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so and as always i'll catch you on the next one Bye.